What is it when you are put into a place in your life you had never seen coming and who do you become? That's for me in a nutshell what Bay of Fires is about. Bay of Fires is about a woman and her two children being told they have to live a different life to survive. So we're going away for a while, okay? A surprise holiday. A woman in a high corporate position all of a sudden Whoa. is plummeted into a living hell that gets hellier. Hey! You let my kids out! <laughs> oh, Marion, hi. The whole series has been set up by the wonderful Marta Dusseldorp. They move from the mainland of Australia to a place in isolation, Mystery Bay in Tasmania. Here an asshole. She has these beautiful children, Otis and Iris, and Otis is 15 and he goes on his own journey. Iris is based on my daughter, that uncensored, smart POV. Gets brighter and brighter for Stella. We don't have a choice. I don't have a car. It's okay, Mum. I don't have a reputation. You forget to learn from your children. I try to remember that all the time as, as a mother, so I really wanted that in the show, that the kids teach her as much as anyone in that community. But a word of warning. Frightened people behave badly, but greedy people can be much worse. There's a lot going on here. It's very compelling. You never quite know where it's going to go in that kind of amazing Breaking Bad slash Ozark kind of way. Twick. It's Ozark meets Fargo meets Schitt's Creek. And we wanted to create our own genre of that. Certainly I've been inspired by the Coen brothers. I love Coen brother films. I like films that you're just not expecting. White Lotus does the same thing, takes you on a place you're not expecting, you're not comfortable with. If you do think of anything, oh. here is my card. Oh. You give a card to a blind man? Maybe you can read it out to him. I would describe Bay of Fires as a wonderful cocktail of comedy and black mystery. This is Growling Panther. I must speak to the lioness. Over. It's hilarious, but it's also, it, it really captured the, uh, the darkness of it. Get her! Get her off me! Get her! Settle down. Get off me! And I think it's the sort of humour that Australians do really well. People will laugh out loud and they'll be engaged in it. Those that really get into it will love that they, they do not know what to expect. I've really enjoyed it. It's as close to heaven as it gets. 